Environmental Cons Conservation Committee, the Sake Valley Sewer Commission, traffic maintenance worker, on street maintenance worker, water meter readers, computer operator, Go Green Initiative, secretary to the department head, public works superintendent, superintendent mechanic, senior engineer aides, and all other jobs titled as listed in salary ordinance be further resolved that all res resolutions or parts of resolutions inconsistent with the provisions of this resolution be and the same or hereby repealed. I move the resolution. You need a second, I believe. Second. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Bertrago. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Resolution number 100-20, introduction by Commissioner Scarpelli. That is hereby determined by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley that all executive, administrative, judicial, and legislative powers, authorities, and duties relating to the following positions com and committees and to all other, other items as listed in the Department of Parks and Public Property in the budget of 2020, except as modified by this resolution, shall be exercised and performed by the Department of Parks and Public Property, and that all executive, <laughs> administrative, judicial, and legislative powers, authority, and duties relating to the said functions and committees as listed here after be and the same are hereby assigned to the Department of Parks and Public Property, namely, Superintendent of Parks and Recreation, Secretary Administrator to the Director, Secretary Board Operator, Senior Clerk Typist, General Park Supervisor, Park Supervisor, Garage Attendant Clerk Typist, Principal Clerk Typist, Benefit Coordinator, Automotive Mechanic, Supervisor of Buildings and Grounds, Building Maintenance Workers, Senior Building Maintenance Workers, Mason. <laughs> Supervisor, tree climber, tree trimmer, senior clerk, type of shade tree division, recreation director, senior citizens director, senior citizens transportation program, recreation evening director, bus drivers, recreation leaders, information technology, recreation center directors, assistant recreation di director, account clerk, events coordinator, adult daycare supervisor, day daycare leaders, adult daycare, adult care aides, all insurance liability matters, including but not limited to the joint insurance fund, the municipal excess liability fund, funds, group insurance for employees, health insurance, and dental insurance. Carpenter, sports officials, recreation supervisors, special recreation education instructor, gymnasium supervisors, Nutley Memorial Parkway Committee, Shade Tree Committee, Labor or Seasonal, Human Resources, Special Transportation Programs, Jitney Transportation Programs, and all other job duties as, as listed in the salary ordinance. Be it further resolved that all resolutions or parts of resolutions inconsistent with the provisions of this resolution be and the same are hereby repealed. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Resolution 101 20, introduction by Commissioner Scarpelli. Whereas the so-called Commission Government Act, or as it's sometimes known as the Walsh Act, entitles an act relating to regulating and providing for the government of cities, towns, township, boroughs, villages, and other municipalities governed by the Board of Commissioners or Improvement Commissioners in the state, approved April 25th, 1911, was duly adopted by the voters of the Council of Nutley in May 1912. And whereas by the mandatory provisions of said act and act supplement, supple, supplementary thereto and a mandatory Thereof, it becomes the duty of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley to determine the executive, administrative, judicial, and legislative authority and duties in the Township of Nutley into and among the departments of the Board of Commissioners and its judgment seems appropriate. And whereas the judgment of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley by determination of powers and duties to be performed by each department and the assignments thereto, departments, public service will be benefited. And whereas the executive, administrative, judicial, and legislative control of certain offices and their powers and duties are now vested in the Board of Commissioners. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nully that all executive, administrative, judicial, and legislative powers, authority, and duties related to the following positions of committee be, shall be exercised and performed by the mayor, and that all the executive, administrative, judicial, and legislative powers hereby and duties related to the said position of committees as listed hereafter be in the same are hereby assigned to the mayor, namely, public defender, community development block group program, zoning board of adjustment and and Board of Adjustment Attorney, Rent Leveling Board and Rent Leveling Board Attorney, Brotherhood Committee, 
Civic Celebrations Committee, Citizen Advisory Group, Senior Citizen Housing Program, Library Board of Trustees, Planning Board and Planning Board Attorney, Holiday Tree Lighting Committee, Essex County Gov uh, Mayor's Conference, and here and all other job titles as listed in the salary ordinance, be a further resolved that all re resolutions or parts of the resolutions inconsistent with the provisions of this resolution be in the same or hereby repealed. I move the resolution. Second. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Resolution 102-20. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County, Essex, State of New Jersey, that all resolutions heretofore voted upon and passed by the individual commissioners are hereby ratified and passed subsequently to the members being duly sworn into office. I move the resolution. Second. 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 Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Okay, moving right along. Bank depositories. Resolution 103 20. Commissioner Evans. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Whereas NJSA 48 colon 514 mandates that the governing body of the municipal corporation shall, by resolution passed by a majority a vote of the full membership thereof, designate a, a depository for its monies, a bank or trust company having its place of business in the state and organized under the laws of the US or this state. Now therefore be resolved uh, on May 19th, uh, uh, May, uh, 2020, uh, by the Board of Directors of the Township of Nutley, County of Essex State, New Jersey, that the following banks are hereby designated as depositories for the Township of Nutley, Capital One, Investors Bank, PD Bank, Valley National Bank, New Jersey uh, Cash Management Fund, be it further resolved that prior to the deposit of any municipal funds in the above mentioned depositories, said bank shall file with the chief financial officer a statement indicating that the bank is covered under the government units uh, deposit program act uh, rs 17 colon 9 41 so moved second commissioner kelly aye commissioner evans aye commissioner Petraco? aye commissioner scarpelli aye mayor tucci aye <laughs> Commissioner, would you like to continue? Yes, Mayor, thank you. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, County of Essex, New Jersey, that the following township officials are hereby authorized to sign checks or withdrawal slips where a combination of three principal, principal signatures are required, Mayor or Director of Building Finance and Township Clerk or Clerk One and Treasurer Chief Financial Officer. Be it further resolved that signature cards with the signatures of the persons authorized to sign uh, uh, be forwarded to all township depositories so moved. Second. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Alan, uh, the next two resolutions, can I consolidate those? Uh, yes, you can, Commissioner. Thank you. Whereas for the convenience of the Township of Nelly, it is deemed advisable that checks drawn on TD Bank and Valley National Bank be signed or fix, uh, signed by affixing a facsimile signature. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nelly County of Essex, New Jersey, that TD Bank and Valley National Bank are hereby authorized to honor for the account of and to debit uh, to, uh, of the Township of Nelly, each check or draft for uh, the payment of money, inclusive of, uh, of any uh, such as to be payable to any of the officers uh, here and uh, specified, uh, here and after specified, bearing a fac facsimile signature of the following, Mayor, Director of Finance, Township Clerk, Chief Financial Officer, so long as said clerks contain, excuse me, so, so long as said checks contain one manual authorizing uh, authorized signature. Be it further resolved that the bank may rely on this resolution until the receipt of the bank of a certified copy of a resolution by the Board of the Commissioners revoking the same, the township expressly uh, assuming all risks involved 
in any unauthorized uses of such facsimile signatures. Be it further resolved that the township clerk be and is hereby directed to furnish TD Bank and Valley National Bank with a certified copy of this resolution. So I move. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas it is desirable that idle funds of the township of, of Nutley uh, be invested in legal investment uh, vehicles at all times, whereas it is occasionally necessary for to transfer funds for the purpose of meeting uh, current township expenses or for the purpose of affecting investments. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie County of Essex, New Jersey, that it does hereby authorize the Chief Financial Officer to request bids and to place orders for the investment of vital funds solely in legally authorized investment vehicles, such as uh, such investments to the, uh, to the investing institution and be further resolved that the above mentioned named Chief Financial Officer is hereby authorized to transfer funds by wire solely for the following purposes and subject to all pertinent regulations. To or from township checking account to other township accounts. To or from township checking or saving accounts. Uh, to or from accounts uh, specified uh, by banks or, state, or the state of New Jersey cash management fund solely for the purpose of investing for the account of the township of Nutley. From uh, three, uh, from township checking accounts solely for the purpose of making payment of current township expenses, which have been approved for payment. Uh, just to clarify, uh, these are uh, uh, these investments are only in, in money market type accounts. Uh, there, uh, we're not investing in risk-based accounts that could create volatility on municipal uh, money. So move. Thank you. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, Mayor. Next, next resolution involves uh, the the appointment of our municipal attorney, Alan Jennings. <laughs> I'm very proud and honored to present this. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that Alan J. Genetempo, Esquire be appointed municipal township attorney for the township of Nutley through May 21st, 2024. I move the resolution. Second. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Aye. Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Mr. Mayor, the, the judge is here to swear us in if that's okay at this time. That's fine. No, he's there. You want me to stand? Okay. Yeah. Hi, Alan J. Genetempo. Hi, Alan J. Genetempo. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the Office of Municipal Attorney. Of the Office of Municipal Attorney. Effective May 19th, 2020. Effective May 19th, 2020. From May 21st, 2020. Through May 21st, 2024. In the Township of Nutley. In the Township of Nutley. County of Essex, New Jersey. County of Essex, New Jersey. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I, Alan J. Genetempo. I, Alan J. Genetempo. To further solemnly swear. To further solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the government. And to the governments established in the United States, established in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. So help, so help me God. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And Mayor, thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, Alan. Thank you very much. Okay, our next resolution. Uh, be resolved by Board of Commissioners, Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey that Angelo Servidio Esquire be appointed municipal township attorney, prosecutor, I'm sorry, municipal township prosecutor for the township of Nutley through May 21st, 2024. I proudly move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. 
Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. I'll swear him in now. I, Angelo Servideo. I, Angelo Servideo. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. Justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the Office of Municipal Prosecutor. The Office of Municipal Prosecutor. Effective May 19th, 2020. At May 19, 2020. Through May 21st, 2024. Through May 21st, 2024. In the Township of Nutley. In the Township of Nutley. County of Essex, New Jersey. County of Essex, New Jersey. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I, Angelo Servidio. I, Angelo Servidio. Do further solemnly swear. Do further solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the King. The same. And to the governments. And to the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. To the authority of the people. So help me God. Help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Smitty. All right. Now we're at the point where we have uh, statements by the governing body. Um, how do we start this? Do we start from uh, five to one, Mayor, or do we go one to five? You're the mayor. <laughs> all right. So in the interest of... Uh, Having someone steal my material, I will proudly go first. <laughs> I'd like to begin. <laughs> I was going to say that. Okay, thanks, Tom. I say thank you again to all the people in this township of Nutley. For the past 20 years, we've had a relationship that continually matured as we work together to improve the town that we love. I come before you today honored and humbled to serve as your mayor. This election was like none we have ever experienced, a total vote by mail event producing a tie for what I believe is a history making result. Mayor Scarpelli and I being of the same mind agreed to share the mayoralty in the best interest of the township. This is no time for petty politics or divisiveness, but rather a time to reassure our residents that their government stands ready to work together to protect and serve them the best way humanly possible. This is what sets us apart from just about any other place I know. Thank you, Mayor Scarpelli. You're welcome, Mayor. Former Mayor Commissioner Petraco, your dedication and love for this township is second to none. As one of the top three candidates, anyone could have challenged the results and caused confusion and uncertainty at a time when we needed it the least. I thank you for your consideration and for your honor and for your friendship. Thank you, former mayor and commissioner Petraco. Thank you so much, Moro. You're welcome. The financial challenges before us require your complete attention. Your expertise is required now more than ever. And I believe the people of this township recognize that and saw to it that you were reelected. I, ex I extend my congratulations to you. Same to you, Moro. Thank you. To our newest commissioner, Commissioner Kelly. I wish you nothing but success in your role as Director of Public Affairs. Your family's dedication to this township has been recognized, and I know you will serve in the tradition of your grandfather, former Assemblyman and Mayor John V. Kelly, and honor his legacy. Congratulations, Commissioner Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. To outgoing Commissioner Rogers, who's not on this Zoom, but I'm sure he's listening somewhere. The energy and enthusiasm you brought to the Department of Public Affairs will never be rivaled. Your creation of the first ever Department of Veteran Affairs continues to assist those who serve, and for that we are thankful. Continued success to you. At this point, I need to thank my family for their support over the last 20 years. My wife, Linda, who allowed me to serve by taking care of our family while I was on town business. Our daughters, Gina and Josephine, our sons, son-in-laws, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, and everyone else whose advice and support proved invaluable. I love and thank you all. To my Parks Department family, the finest group of individuals ever assembled in a governmental agency. Without you, I am nothing. I'm honored to work beside you and thank you for the care and love you have for our parks and recreation programs. 
You are the reason we are successful on so many levels. Thank you so much. As I have previously mentioned, this election was like none other. We had to balance getting our message out while being sensitive to those suffering from the novel coronavirus and the families that lost loved ones without being disrespectful. Unfortunately, I was one of five family members who contracted the disease and was out of commission for several months. The mastermind and chief strategist behind our campaign who kept it all together and kept things moving was none other than my business partner and confidant, Gerard. Chrissy, Frank, Anthony, Jason, Linda, Mary, Teresa, Lois, all my guys in the back, Frankie Dip, you all share in this victory. I thank you for your dedication and loyalty to this township. Assemblyman Computo, who was with us earlier, Michael Cortese, who's home ill, Jim Callahan, Michael Lacascio, and one of my favorite mentors, Jim Pyro, you've been with me from the beginning and your counsel and assistance in everything governmental is, in, is appreciated. In closing, while 2020 will be challenging to say the least, I truly believe our best days are ahead of us, our work continues, and we will get through this together. Thank you and God bless Nutley, New Jersey. Commissioner Scarpelli. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Tucci, fellow commissioners, honored guests, Reverend Clergy. This was a very unique election. We are in the midst of a global pandemic. There was no traditional way to campaign. A mail-in ballot only election, the first in New Jersey history. And after more than 8,000 votes, there is a tie for, for, for the first spot. Can someone check to see if the earth is still on its axis? <laughs> I would like to thank my committee for all their hard work throughout the campaign. My immediate family, Sal, Harry, Gianna, and of course my wife, Sue, uh, could not do what I do without her holding down the fort. My mom, my sister, Trish, my uncle, Vito, my nephew, Anthony, and my extended family, my in-laws, Bob, Vicki, Ann, and Al, Kitty, and all my friends for their love, hard work, and support. Thank you to the men and women of the DPW department who make me look good every day. Congratulations to Mayor Tucci and my fellow commissioners on their reelection. John Kelly, congratulations and welcome to the board. Your grandfather is looking down and is certainly proud of you and your continuation of a family tradition of public service. Thank you also to Maria Hamlin, Dan Carnicella, Sam Flytel, Chris Colari, Larry Marchese, Frank Cattell, and Carmen Alessio for their time and efforts. Special thanks to my guardian angels who have guided me throughout the campaign. My dad, my grandfather and grandmother, my brother Mike, my uncle Ralph, and Kevin Harkins. I found out in this election there's also a downside to having guardian angels. They don't vote anymore. <laughs> but, but seriously, I miss you all. You all zoom in daily, but I know you are really zooming in today. It is obvious from the election results that people like the direction the town is going with all four commissioners handily being reelected. Let me compliment our new mayor, Mauro Tucci. Within five minutes of the county clerk posting the results on Friday night, we had talked and agreed to split the four year mayoral term, taking two years apiece. In these unprecedented times, we found a unique way to keep a nutley tradition of choosing the top vote getter, in this case, the top vote getters as mayor. Thank you for your graciousness and class. I also want to recognize Commissioner Rogers. Thank you for your service to our community. He's a real leader. He had a vision to start our Veterans Affairs Bureau and has become a model for all communities. I know you are not finished with community service. Sir. It's been my pleasure of serving with you in the last eight years and I look forward to working with you in the future. Godspeed, my friends. Over the last four years, the former Roche property was transformed from a shuttered campus to a, vi a vibrant innovation hub. With the Hackensack Meridian School of Meridian at Seton Hall acting as the centerpiece of the campus, we have worked together to add Modern Meadow, Hackensack Meridian Center for Discovery and Innovation, YMABS, and Ralph Lauren, filling four of the five once vacant buildings. We now have a bustling campus that is fueling our local economy, producing quality jobs for our residents, and increasing our property values and there is more to come. That more to come will also pre pre present some challenges. We must continue with smart redevelopment that replaces our lost revenues and takes into consideration the inability of our schools to accommodate additional children. 
smart development that complements rather than competes with our downtown, and smart development that plans for and mitigates any potential impacts of that redevelopment. We have other challenges ahead, improving our schools and finding viable long-term solutions to the overcrowding issue, revitalizing our downtown, and the redevelopment of the Ciccolini pro property. These are big ideas. These are big issues that need big ideas. I'm very excited about the future of our town. Thank you for the honor and privilege of serving the people of Nutley as your 18th mayor. I look forward to working with all of you to accomplish all those goals. Thank you. Well said, Joe. Commissioner Petraco. Yes, thank you, Mayor Tucci. I um, usually don't write anything down, as we all know, and I, but I did put some bullet points down because I definitely want to thank my wife first. I want to thank my wife, my kids, my father, my brothers. I want to thank everybody in public safety. I want to thank everybody in every department because as we all know how tight this race was, it seems that we all had the confidence of the people in Notley. I especially want to thank the people in public safety, police officers, the ambulance squad, the firemen with the virus going on for all the hard work that they've been going through and putting themselves in harm's way. I wanna thank my committee, everybody on my committee. I don't wanna name anybody because I always forget someone, but everybody worked very hard in this unique, extraordinary election. Um, 37 votes, boys, is not far off, right? In this um, untraditional election, 37 votes. I remember when Joe, when I became the mayor, and Joe, I'll never forget what you said to, to the people in the stands. You couldn't get me 13 more votes, right? But I have to tell you, there will not be any challenges from Al Petraco because I am confident in the two men that will be serving as our mayor the next four years. You guys have, there, there has been bumps in the road. I'm, I, I'll never say there wasn't, but these are good people. These are great people and you have my confidence. And if you didn't, I would have challenged it obviously, but these are two great leaders and I wish both of you the best of luck. Mauro, you've been my partner up here, a mentor to me. We started the Roach Bad News in 2013. Um, we made a lot of headway. It is very, very well deserved. And I am very happy for you, your department, your family, especially, and your beautiful, lovely wife that they finally get to see their grandfather, their boss, their husband sit in that chair that you waited so long for. So congratulations, it's well deserved. I also, very welcome. I also wanna thank Commissioner Rogers, I had the privilege of handing some notes back and forth to him during commission meetings. He said, no Steve is to love Steve. And I have to tell you, he has a very comical side to him as well. But Steve was the one that really brought God closer to me in my heart. Um, going through that with my mother, and I know my mom is watching over all of us, and there's a reason why everything happens. And I want to thank all of you again. Father Tom, you're there. I want to thank you all. That was very a, a very pressing time in my life. I said this when I got sworn in this morning, that if I had one wish, it wouldn't be to be the mayor today. It would be to have my mom back here. Also, I have to say something to Commissioner Kelly. I have always been the kid on the block here until now. So I want you to know that you're working with a great group of people. Your genes speak for yourself. I was your grandfather's newspaper boy. He was very outspoken, your grandfather, and he did a great town. He did a great job with our town. I want to welcome you aboard. Any help that I can give you or we all can give you, I could tell you the one goal we have here on our board of commissioners is no matter what to push the town forward. In closing, gentlemen, I just like to say, I didn't get the mayor seat, which will give me a little bit more time. And I really, really believe we need to fix these schools in this town. So I'm gonna be committed to the Nutley children for the next four years of moving a referendum forward, working hand in hand with my colleagues on the board 
and hopefully the Board of um, Education to make sure that we pass something which is affordable to the taxpayers and beneficial to our children. God bless you all. Congratulations again to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Commissioner Petraco. Commissioner Evans. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, let me first start by saying uh, thank you to, to all of the voters uh, for returning uh, me to office. Uh, this was a very challenging election. There was a lot of fine candidates in the race. I congratulate all the candidates for the, their desire to want to contribute to the well-being of, of our township. So uh, thank you to everyone for your uh, continued support in returning me to office. Uh, like Al, uh, I was only 1,200 votes behind. So <laughs> I decided not to challenge. So I just wanted to know, guys, I'm just not going to challenge first place. But, but I thought about it for a moment. Uh, I want to congratulate my fellow commissioners uh, in, a, in a couple of ways. Uh, one, uh, for sitting on the board for as long as I have and working through the, the many situations that we've had to deal with as a board, I, I congratulate you and I thank you for uh, your single focus in the unity around doing first what's best for the township both in the short term and in the long term. I congratulate you for that. And I look forward to continuing that relationship that is built on honor and trust uh, as we, we face the challenges in front of us. I want to expand, extend a special welcome to uh, Commissioner Kelly. Uh, this is a fine word. Uh, we have many challenges that uh, we will face. And the commissioners have been speaking to it. The on three redevelopment, the Ciccolini property, for schools, as well as you know, looking at our aid and, and converting it to permanent aid uh, as, we, as we start to step through uh, the next period of time. There are many things that we have to address, including now, uh, because of the uh, COVID environment, uh, the social challenges and certain of the economic challenges that our community uh, will face. So I welcome you to the board and look forward to working with you. Uh, I want to extend a thank you to uh, Commissioner Rogers as well. Um, uh, Steve, uh, wherever you are, I know you're not finished and I know that you will surface with your next great adventure and I wish you much success in that next step. Uh, for to my, to some other people who work on my community, like Al, I have uh, uh, quite a few people that I, I wish to thank, uh, which I acknowledge broadly, but uh, for a few, like Barbara Hirsch, Mike Evangelista, Don Povia, Jim Cook to and my brother, my, my brother Ted, I want to extend a, a very special thank you. Uh, this was very difficult, very challenging, and your guidance and your resourcefulness is so greatly appreciated by me. I want to thank my children and my family for their unwavering um, support, especially uh, my, my grandson, Jack, who was always writing a picture with Baba and to, and to the Bible uh, uh, for me. Uh, I made a commitment to work hard every day for the residents of Nutley. Uh, that commitment began back in the year 2003, and I have never wavered in my desire to bring the very best I have uh, to the table to offer my, uh, my insights, my advice, my guidance uh, in a shared way with the Board of Commissioners and collectively working with them to, to drive to the right, the right decision. Uh, I'm unwavering in that commitment. I uh, promise to all of you that I will continue to do that and, and that to be clear that as a commissioner, I, along with this board, we represent all of the residents of our town in a very inclusive uh, way. Each day I will be guided by values that I have lived with my entire professional career, integrity, teamwork, mutual respect, and personal accountability. Uh, simply stated, tell the truth, work together, respect one another, and be accountable for the things that we, I say I will do and, do, and deliver, deliver on that. As I mentioned earlier, we face a very, very difficult time. The challenges are economic in terms of uh, the society around us. The challenges are financial, uh, given the uh, state of, uh, of the environment with 
starting at the state level, the county level, and here at the municipal level. We have to recognize the hardship that our residents face and continue to do our best to manage, to provide the services for the health, welfare, and safety of the community with the most frugal dollar that we can identify. And I, I will continue uh, to drive that. I uh, continue to hold the responsibility for uh, sending out the tax bills, right? But I collectively work with my board of commissioners uh, to make sure that what we achieve uh, is one that we can collectively uh, be, be proud of. Uh, together, I believe we will work through the challenges that we face and I believe that we, strong, we will be stronger when we uh, 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 face the other side of this, this stormy period. I want to extend a special thank you to my revenue and finance team, my code department, uh, working with these people every day, uh, getting to know them and understanding their passion and dedication for the township. And it's extraordinary to work around them, and I'm grateful that the township has the benefit of their ability. I look forward to, Alan, your continued advice and counsel to the board. Uh, Lenny, as the municipal clerk, your uh, counsel uh, to, to the board uh, as well. Uh, and in closing, just a special thank you to Lenny, Jason, Sal, Alan, and every, all the work that was done to organize this day for all of us. I thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> Commissioner Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. Um, my, my old college rugby coach used to say, gents, you have to play like it's 15 versus 16. You, the other team, and the referee. That, that bit of advice is great guidance for, for all of us, not only through sports, but through life. You got to take on the unexpected challenges and live, live like you're down for the count, but never quit and always persevere and overcome all of life's obstacles. When thinking about this past election, I couldn't help but think about my old rugby coach's words. We were forced to run through a global health crisis with the polls closed and an all vote by mail election and ended in a photo finish. But the, the analogy doesn't end there. Part of what makes rugby great is that the, the, the teams come together at the end of the game and celebrate the match. And that's part of what makes Nutley great as well. This community has come together and I've been overwhelmed by the, the pouring of support from not only the, the current commissioners, but everyone in the community, uh, even, even the, the people who, who didn't necessarily make it across the finish line in, in the top five slots. But as, as we close the book on this past election, I'm, I'm excited to start uh, this new chapter as your newest commissioner. Uh, I know that I will face challenges and I know I will be supported in, in those challenges by my teammates. Commissioner Evans, Commissioner Petraco, Commissioner Scarpe Scarpelli, Mayor Tucci, and all the citizens of, citizens of Nutley because we're all one team, Team Nutley. And we're gonna overcome those challenges and we're gonna get, get through anything together. And to that end, if you think of a, there's a great idea that could help Nutley, I wanna hear about it. If you think we're doing something wrong, I wanna hear about it. And if you, if you think there's something we can do better, I also wanna hear about it. Uh, this moment would not be possible, though, without all of the support uh, of, from so many throughout the course of my life. And I, I, I'm not going to be able to thank everyone here, but I, I do want to want to thank uh, some people in particular. Starting with my, my parents, John and Cindy Kelly, they, they, they have given me everything and uh, I can't thank them enough. My grandparents, and, and I note that I'm stepping into a position that my grandfather one, once held and that moment is not lost on me. While I, while I intend to blaze my own path, uh, I can't help but think of a personal note that was given to me by a donor four years ago when I ran for this office. Uh, it, was, it meant a lot to me, and it, it was this very simple note, always be like your grandfather, a great man. And I promise I will live up to that, to that request. I wanna thank my sisters, Lauren, Elise, Deandra, Alexa, and Krista. They're always there for me. My brother-in-laws, Brad, Zach, and Tom, my nephews, Lincoln, Jackson, Calvin, Carter, and my niece, Anastasia, to all of my aunts and uncles and great aunts and uncles, uh, and to all of my cousins. You, you, you guys have been a tremendous support for me. And, and uh, the support and thanks doesn't end with my family. It only starts there. The preparation and guidance didn't end with my family. It started there. 
I'd like to, I, I would not be here with today without the countless educators and teachers from all the schools that I've attended, Yanacaw School, Good Shepherd Academy, St. Peter's, Georgia Tech, and Seton Hall Law School. Uh, I'd like to thank the coaches who, who have taught me to, to not only be gracious in victory, but learn from defeat. Uh, the mentors whose guidance has, uh, whose guidance has led me through all different sorts of challenges over the years. The many various bosses and leaders and commanders that I've had who, who've shown me what true leadership is like. My friends in the army who have shown me what true loyalty is like. And all of my friends who I've met over the years, uh, you, you guys have shown me such tremendous support our lives have been turned upside down in the midst of this crisis, and you guys stepped up and, and helped me in, the, in run a campaign in the midst of a health crisis, and I can't thank you enough. Uh, I also want to thank, in particular, Commissioner Rogers. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he has set me up for success, and I'll, I'll definitely be, be working with him. Even though he's not an elected official anymore, I, I want to continue so that some of the successes that he's had. And last but not least, I want to thank all of you. Uh, if I've met you, you've definitely had some impact in my life. And if I haven't met you yet, I'm looking forward to the impact that you will have on my life. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to serve you as your newest commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner Kelly. Thank you. Madam Clerk, do we have any presentations today? We do not. We do not. Okay, before I entertain a motion for adjournment, uh, one final statement, uh, a thank you to our clerk, Eleni Pettis, for putting this together today. Uh, Jason thank Kirk you. for putting all this uh, technology together uh, for always being here for us. And just one last message to the people of the Township of Nutley, our beloved citizens. Alone, any one of your commissioners will do good things. Together, we are going to do great things. You are always our top priority. We love you, we look out for you, and we will protect you to the best of our ability. So thank you all. Uh, I will entertain the motion of adjournment. Move it. Second. It. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you very much. And the time is 117. Sorry. See you at seven. See you all at seven. Take care, everyone.